since we've started uh, the metronome, um, one of the things we've noticed is Emma's sensory issues have greatly improved. Um, she used to be extremely defensive as far as her face was. Um, she wouldn't let anybody come near her face, touch her feet, her hands. Um, now she'll let us give her kisses. She doesn't scare away from every little motion that's near her. Um, she lets us touch her hands. She lets us touch her feet. She um, also had some sensory issues um, with noises that she's overcome. She, um, certain toys, the noises they made, certain noises around the house really startled her. And now um, those are some of her favorite toys and she has no problems with them. She also, um, when we started, before we started Metronome, wouldn't eat any solid foods, any foods with texture, any change. And now she's eating table food, she's eating macaroni, she will eat anything. Um, she, she loves new tastes and textures now, whereas before it was the three T's. We couldn't change the taste, texture, or temperature whatsoever. And now she doesn't care, she'll eat anything. Before, Emma was not making any eye contact, making any communication. She really was very quiet um, altogether. Um, since then, we have noticed her increase in babbling and her banter. She's laughing along with TV shows. She's trying to sing along with um, some of the songs on the TV shows. She is making eye contact with people. She's seeking out and enjoying toys and um, she's, she's, every time, it seems every time we do an, a metronome session, she's even more so those days. Um, it's talking and babbling and jabbering. Um, when, when people say the word mama, she's turning around and looking for me um, or looking for what it is you're saying. Um, there's just been a steady increase in her verbal skills. Since um, we began metronome, we've noticed um, her physical abilities have greatly improved. Um, she started sitting unsupported. She's rolling over and then getting into a kneeling position. She's she's um, pulling up in her crib. Um, she's trying to pull up on the couch. She's even started doing some crawling, which we had never expected. Um, she's she's getting extremely mobile and um, before metronome we were pretty much going to be just satisfied with unsupported sitting so it's been miraculous the past couple months to see how far it's brought her. Emma's even went as far as to drink from a sippy cup which sounds like an easy task but for Emma um, before metronome we couldn't even change the style of nipple on her bottle um, or else she would get so upset over that she would um, make herself vomit. Uh, she now will take a sippy cup, drink a sippy cup, and she doesn't even care what kind of sippy cup it is. She, um, she loves her cups and she'll take any of them. Um, when Miss Lucy introduced at first to us the idea of um, trying metronome with Emma, she wasn't even two yet, and um, at first we were a little skeptical. Um, to us it sounded like kids clapping to a beat with a music metronome and we didn't really understand how this could benefit our child or much less how she was even going to do it when she really had very limited skills as it was. Um, so we were a little skeptical. Um, one session, the we said, well, we'll give it a try, but we don't want to waste too much time on this um, because we don't want to lose time with Emma. And the first session was the day that she started laughing out loud. It was that day, and we still told ourselves that there's no way it had anything to do with metronome. But by the second session, there was so much improvement in Emma that we could see that we couldn't credit it to it. It had been anything else. It had to have been metronome, and from there on, we've just seen miraculous things in her.